Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Matthew, my mascot. He's a mammoth and he tries to keep tabs on me and so that I don't make any errors. And in this lesson we're going to study division terminology and also zero in division. Okay, I've written the terms for division here. First of all we have the dividend, which is the number we are dividing. Then divisor is the number that is doing the dividing. Here, this number, and then the answer is called the quotient. However, we can also call the whole problem the 56 divided by 7. That part here can also be called the quotient. It's basically the quotient that is not yet solved. It is the quotient written out as a problem to solve, and then you can also call the answer, when it has been solved, as a quotient. Okay? Let's practice a little bit. Write the division and solve for x, and we are told that the dividend is going to be 100, and the quotient is 20, and the divisor is x. So, I'll simply write, dividend is the number we are going to divide. It goes first, 100 here. And then quotient is going to be the answer, after the equal sign over here. So it goes here. And the divisor is x. So I have an equation here, 100 divided by x equals 20. And it is easy to see that x has to be 5, right? So I have solved my equation. Write three division problems with a quotient of 10. Okay, so I need to write division problems like this. I need to write division problems where the quotient means the answer here is 10, right? So something divided by something equals 10. Maybe I'll choose 10 divided by 1. Then another one where something equals 10, something divided by something. Well, maybe 20 divided by 2. And if I don't feel very creative, I will go 30 divided by 3 equals 10, right? But I don't know, maybe I'll write 100 divided by 10, okay? A little bit different. And that's all done. Here, I have two numbers and it is asking for product written, product solved. Quotient written, quotient solved. I already told you what these two mean, basically. Quotient solved means that it is the actual answer to the division problem here. And quotient written... And quotient written is this part here. 56 divided by 7. So let me write it here. 22, 24 divided by 2 is the quotient written out, and then solved, it is just the answer, 12. Now product, written and solved, is the same idea. Product, of course, refers to the multiplication, right? So I would have here 24 times 2, I write out the product without solving it, and then I solve it, okay? Now, next we are going to look at division with 0. Matthew, why are you tickling me? Oh, there's an error! Ah, I see it now. Okay. 48. Thank you, Matthew. He's a, he's a good guy. Okay, now let's study division with zero. Because that always confuses children, right? What is it, Matthew, now? He wants you guys pay good attention to this. This is important. So let's look at it in a little bit more detail than just spelling out some kind of rule that this is how it is and memorize it. You see, can we do this division? Can we do this one? The zeros, right? You can check each division by multiplication and check if it actually works. If this is true, then this times this has to equal this. You go backwards. I call it division backwards is multiplication, you know? So check 0 times 4. Is that true? Yes, it is. So this works. 0 divided by 4 is indeed 0. How about this one? 4 divided by 0. Is it 0? I'll check. 0 times 0 equals 4. No, that does not work, as you can see. How about if we change the answer 4 divided by 0? Maybe the answer is 4. Let's check. 4 times 0 equals 4. No, that doesn't work, okay? The same thing would happen no matter what I try here. Let's say I try 4 divided by 0 equals 100. If there is 100 here, then 100 times 0 equals 4. 
it does not work. No matter what I put here, when I check it with multiplication, this number times zero will give me zero and never four. So that is why division by zero does not work. We say it is undefined. We cannot define it so that it would work with multiplication when you check it, okay? Now here's one more very curious thing, which is zero divided by zero equals zero. Let's check. Zero times zero. It seems to work, right? It seems to work when we check it with multiplication. But it's not that simple, because if I suggest that maybe zero divided by zero should be giving the answer two, or one, or hundred, or some other number, and I go checking two times zero, that works too, or seems to. Or this one, 71 times zero is zero. It's like any answer here would work. And then we, that's when we say that it is undeterminate. We cannot determine any single answer, because just about any number as an answer would work. So division by zero does not work. Not even if you have zero divided by zero. Not even this one, okay? So that's basically the scoop of it, that if you have division by zero, this second number here, the divisor is zero, then it does not work, okay? If your dividend is zero, that's okay. But if the second number, the divisor is zero, it does not work. So keep that in mind, okay?